What's going on guys and welcome to another video. Today's video is not exactly what I intended to be making. Um, first things first, you guys remember we were supposed to go to a car show today and it rained all day last night or all night last night and a lot of this morning. So the weather was pretty shit. We did not end up going. So that's why we didn't end up going to a car show. I didn't plan on making a video today. I was going to stay home, work on some marketing and get ready for tomorrow's $8,000 in nine days. However, Stumbled across the problem. So, uh, as I was coming back last night, I told myself I wanted to check the oil because if you guys remember a few videos ago, changed the oil on the race car. And with that being said, I was, uh, I wanted to check it because I always check it a couple days after I do it. So last night or this morning, sorry, I checked it and I was like bone dry on my oil pan, my oil dipstick. And I'm like, how in the hell am I bone dry? I literally just changed the oil. So, one underneath the car and I have a little new magnetized oil um, oil pen in the oil pan and um, that was doing its job, it was working just fine. So I'm like, how in the world am I literally losing, like, where's all my oil? And added a whole other quart of oil. So the supercharged mini takes 4.7 quarts of oil. I put in 4.8 when I originally did the build or did, did the uh, change. And then I just added another full quart. So technically, you're looking at 5.8 quarts of oil that should be in there. Check the dipstick, bone dry. Where is all my oil going? Went underneath, took off the oil, fil ugh, took off the oil filter, redid the gasket on here. Now this is a brand new oil filter and it's pretty dry. There's not much oil in here. And the weird thing is, is that underneath my car, all over the upper control arm and lower control arms is oil. And I mean tons of it, just caked of oil. This thing was on there 100% tight. Like when I went to take it off, I made sure that it was still on there 100% tight. It was so tight, it wasn't going anywhere. The gasket, I already replaced the gasket when I redid the oil filter. I just put a brand new gasket in it. And I honestly have no idea where that all that oil is coming from. So. What I'm going to do is put the oil filter back on, put more oil in it, take it to the car wash, do an undercarriage blast to where I clean out all the oil that's underneath because it is just oil city. Like the control arms, the suspension is just covered in oil. And then I'm going to drive it around, come back, check the dipstick again and hope that I don't know if we had a bad gasket, if I really don't know. Like I said, the oil filter was on there a hundred percent tight, completely as tight as it could be. It was torqued to the crack specs. The filter's in there, right? But yet we're just leaking oil everywhere under the oil filter. So I have no idea what's going on. So I'm going to go back under here, fix this. I go redo this again, and hopefully we find a fix. This isn't the video I intended on making today, but here we are. Okay, so I had to put in an extra quart and a half, and now it is to the range where it should be. So I'm hoping that it was a gasket. I don't know. I also don't know if the oil is going to continue to stay where it's supposed to be, because obviously if we have an oil leak, it's not going to stay. So I'm gonna take the car down to the do-it-yourself car wash and um, give it a good spray on the undercarriage because it's just it's literally just piled with oil and the last thing that I want is to have this thing out on track and be leaking oil all over the place for the cars behind me to run over and run into a wall so I'm gonna go take this spray this out come back check the oil again and then hopefully check it a little bit later and hopefully we're good 
like I said, I still do not know what the issue is. All I did this time was um, replace the uh, oil filter gasket. Other than that, that's all I've done. So hopefully this ends up working. Now, if you're new to the channel and you might be thinking, well, why the hell is this loser working on this car on the side of the street? Well, because in the garage we have this bad girl. 1991 Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX, currently rebuilding the motor. Literally every single part on this car is about to be brand new. It's been a long, expensive process, but it's gonna be well worth it. She's been up on jack stands for a few months now, redoing the entire cooling system, new turbo, new radiator, new intercooler, new everything, um, rebuilding the head. So that's why we're out working on the side of the road rather than right here in the garage. And then of course over here is car parts, car parts, car parts, car parts, car parts. So that's why. Typically I don't go to this car wash because I go to one farther down that's a lot better and it's uh, touchless and it does it itself. But I need to get under there, because that's where all the oil is, right under the upper and lower control arm area and under the oil filter. So that's what we're gonna work on. Hopefully get all that out because it's a mess. All right, so I just got home and I checked the oil level again and it's literally bone dry, again. Um, I have no idea what's going on. The oil pan is fine. I'm not leaking oil from the um, oil pan at all. The oil filter was leaking. It had to be because of all the oil underneath the oil filter. Clean that up, put a new gasket in, put that back on, and the oil is going somewhere. I'm bone dry again. I just put another quart in to get it back to where it was. So in the span of an hour, I put another two and a half quarts in and I'm still pretty much bone dry. Really don't know what's going on. Um, I'm gonna dive deeper into it and figure out what's going on. Um, so now we've got the Mini and we've got the Eclipse RIP to both for right now currently. So I really don't know where to go from there. Um, I didn't plan on making this video. I didn't plan this out. I had no intention of it. So you guys kind of get just get a updated little vlog going on um, tomorrow. I'll come back for uh, nine thousand dollars in eight days. The way this is going, we're going to need every penny of it. So um, if you guys not already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and uh, I'll see you guys back here with more broken cars and uh, more money making business ideas. So. Until then, I'll see you guys next video. Peace out, and remember, you create your own story.